Okay, how to create a Digo account and start making bookmarks with Digo. First off, you can see I'm at Digo's website and you want to create an account. And if I were not at my page, it would look, well, here, let me log out. And here we are. Go to Digo and sign up. Um, this is fun. I don't know why this is not showing up. Once you sign up and create an account, then we're ready to start. So let's pretend we've gone through that process. A couple things. One, the tools button right here, what you wanna do is click on that, and I recommend using Chrome. You can see here I'm on Chrome. If you click install, it's going to install an extension, and it'll go through a process, and it'll put this in right here. You can see over here, I already have mine installed, so I'm not going to do it again, and there it is. If you're using a different browser, you can use this. I recommend Chrome because I think it just works a little bit better. Once you have it installed, let's say you're at some page, like let's say this, this page, and you want to bookmark it. Click on this button over here and click on Save Bookmark. You can add tags, and tags are a great way to organize material. So I always put some tags in here, and recommended will show up once you start to have bookmarks. Right now I don't have any. So maybe I have a bookmark called St. Martin's or college, or ed, or education, and so on and so forth. And I'm going to, like I can add a description in here if I want. Mm. And I'm going to save. Now to show you what happened, I'm gonna go back to my Digo page and I'll go to my library, which is right here, and posted, here's the bookmark I just made. Now, one thing I, I forget is that when I make bookmarks, they're set to private by default. So I'm going to click on Edit, which was these three dots over here, and deselect private. When I make a bookmark, come over here, and uh, right now I can edit this, but if I'm going to make a new one, uh, let's go to a new page. Let's say if I'm at Apple Computer, and I'm going to make a bookmark. If it says edit, that means I already have one. So trying to make a new one, um, I'd have to go to a site that I don't have. So I'll go here to Catholic High School's website, and let's see if I bookmark this. Save bookmark, nope. And so I can see right here, if I click save, oh, I guess it found it. It's not private already, but when I save a new bookmark, I can click right here to or deselect if it's set to private. And I'm not going to do that right now because uh, I already have a bookmark for it. But that is how to use Digo. Hopefully that's helpful.